Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and it's for the week of February 18th through February 24th. And for this week, I don't really have um, too much going on. I did get really sick over the weekend and I went through my entire kit collection and I couldn't really find anything that had to do with like being sick. So anyways, I ended up choosing a kit that doesn't really have much to do with this particular week, but I do really love this kit. This is a Totoro theme kit from Key Town and I picked this up quite a while ago. I love it. I've kind of forgotten about it because it was like kind of stashed in the back. Um, but when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I feel like I haven't used like a cutesy themed kit in a while. So I'm really excited to pull in like all of my kawaii icons for this. But anyways, like I said, it's Totoro themed and it's so cute. Here we have the eight full boxes and then we've got the sidebar trackers. We have a weekend banner, flags, icons, and circle checklists. On this page, we have a sheet of deco, and I typically don't pull in too much deco in my planning just because I don't have space to fit it, but we'll kind of see for this week. Over here, I have the headers and the little things. I've got the full box checklist, half boxes, quarter boxes, appointment labels, and a movie marquee. And then here we have the bottom washi and some washi strips of different sizes. And I honestly love this bottom washi with like the light blue and the light pink ombre watercolor. I think it's so pretty. And that's the other thing I love about this kit. I feel like I haven't used these kind of colors in a while. So um, I wanted to pull that into my planning. I've been using a ton of pinks in the month of February. And to be honest, I'm I'm just slightly sick of all the pink so even though this kit has a little bit of that it's I feel like it's predominantly blue so anyways that'll be a nice little change so without further ado I do want to jump right in um, and as usual I'm going to start by placing down my bottom washi for my spread this week, I decided to keep things pretty simple. Um, I intentionally decided not to pull in any glitter headers or use any brush lettering pens for this spread um, just because like Totoro is a movie that I loved as a kid. It's like really innocent and just like really pure um, and simple and I just feel like I wanted my spread to kind of reflect that and I feel like the final product is a lot more of like the spreads that I used to do back in the day before I got all into like gold foil and glitter headers and um, you know brush lettering and stuff like that. So I don't know it was really fun to build this actually because it was just super simple but like also really cute and sweet so anyways I've pretty much finished building my sidebar the same way that I usually do always tracking my workouts my happy moments and my dinners and I love that little dust bunny sticker that came in the deco sheet so I just stuck that on the happy moments header then moving to Monday, Monday was my last day in Houston on a girl's trip with my friends and um, we were heading home on Monday. So I started with a today header. I found this really cute cloud sticker in the deco sheet. So I layered that with a suitcase sticker from paper and milk to mark that I packed in the morning. And then we got some coffee. Um, that coffee sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then placed down a half box to mark where we got breakfast. Um, that pancake sticker is from Kina Prince. It's so cute with a little heart. And we went to this spot called Breakfast Club which was amazing they're known for their chicken and waffles which was so good but we also got the catfish and grits and that was my first time having catfish um which i actually really really enjoyed so overall it was an amazing experience after breakfast we flew home so i put down this full box and because there's some empty space at the top of that full box i put down an airplane sticker from paper and milk and marked um the airplane that we left from and then where we flew into one of my friend's dad picked us up from the airport, which was really nice of him because LAX is like a total nightmare. And so um, we ended up going to her house for a second and that's where my boyfriend picked me up. That car sticker I put down is from a shop that's no longer open. And then uh, my boyfriend and I went to get some pho. I always crave pho after I come home from a long trip. I think it's just like the best comfort food and also because I tend to eat really poorly when I'm uh, traveling. I just want something that feels really cleansing. So that is pho for me. That sticker is from Hazel Sticker. And then I put down this Emoti watching TV sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark what we watch for TV that night. And I decided I wanted some um, color in the background, so I placed down a washi strip behind it. Then moving to Tuesday, I first put down this quarter box and that coffee sticker is from Peanut Butter Taco. It's so cute. And then I placed down this full box with the Totoro, which is so adorable. And um, I returned to work on Tuesday, which is why I needed my coffee. Um, I had a couple meetings that day. So the first one, I used an appointment label with a pencils in a cup sticker from Lemon Paper Co. to mark that. And then the second meeting was an IEP, which is meetings that we hold for students in special education. So um, I used an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs. 
I did quite a few things after work that day and I didn't have a whole lot of space left, so I decided just to condense everything onto a checklist. Um, above that checklist, I put a to-do header. One of the things I did was working out, so I pulled in this super cute workout girl sticker that is from Whimsical Cat Studio, um, and it's new in my collection, so I was super excited about pulling her in. At the end of the night, I did record my voiceover, so I pulled in a YouTube sticker from Paper and Milk, which was really teeny and fit in that space. On Wednesday, I started by placing down a today header. I then laid a flag sideways and used a crying fox from, I think that's from Miscellany Boulevard, to mark that I got pulled over on the way to work because the cop noticed that I was wearing my seatbelt wrong. Apparently, it's supposed to go over your shoulder, um, which I think I knew. I just don't know why I was like wearing it under my shoulder. And so he pulled me over and actually gave me a ticket for it. So quick PSA to everyone watching, make sure you wear your seatbelt correctly. And anyways, um, just wanted to let you guys know then at work that day I had a testing appointment in the morning so I pulled in this work sticker from Mochi Kichi. I had another IEP meeting so I put that on a half box and then I used a little things with a car icon from the kit to mark that I had to stop by somewhere after work. I decided to switch some things around so on Tuesday I switched out the to-do header for a blue one and then moved that pink one onto Wednesday instead. I then put down the full box with all the little dust bunnies, so cute, and um, at the very bottom I think I just filmed that night so I pulled in this film sticker from Love Shira. Moving to Thursday, I put down a full box, or I'm sorry, a half box at the top, and that really cute coffee sticker is from Sweet Ava's Paper. Um, I had to get to work super, super early that day because um, I had a report to finish. I then found this really cute um, notebook paper sticker that is from Mochi Kichi, and I put that I had to finish my report on that. Then on Thursday, Thursday was a crazy day. I had five meetings, and so I just put down a checklist to mark all of the meetings. I just decided I didn't need to write in any of the times. I pulled in a pencil sticker, which is from Nikki plus three, and then I moved to the bottom of Thursday. So I started by using a little things with a computer sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design to mark that I edited my plan with me that night. And then above that, I used a half box um, to mark our date night. So the date night script sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. And I pulled in this really cute emoji date night sticker um, from the Coffee Monsters Co. I did a workout that afternoon, so I put down a shoe sticker that's from Simply Laura Paper Shop, and that's it for Thursday, so I moved to Friday. On Friday, I initially put down this pink Totoro box at the top, and then um, I ended up moving to Thursday real quick to put down a little piece of deco on the checklist. I then removed the full box and switched it out for another one instead. This one again is so cute. The Totoro is holding some flowers. Oh, it's just so cute. I love everything in this kit. And underneath that, I put down a to-do or a today header with, I think that's like a little washi strip. Um, Friday was when I started to feel sick in the morning. I was feeling really clammy and really achy, but work has been so crazy. So I still made myself go to work and kind of quarantined myself in the office, just working on reports. And then I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker from paper and milk to mark that I got some coffee that morning. I then put down this major struggling sticker from Mochi Kiji because that's exactly how I felt. I was just like dying the whole day um, and I used that to note that I survived work yay and managed to make it home. I was just feeling progressively worse and worse and um, we decided to get pho that night because I was like oh my gosh I need to be healed and I feel like pho has like healing properties. So I pulled in a half box from my leftovers collection and then the noodle sticker is from a happy blue tree. We then stopped by the grocery store really quick, so I put that on a washi strip, I believe, and the grocery icon is from Sunset Sticker Co. And then I just had a lazy night, like cuddled on the couch in blankets, and I think I ended up sleeping really early. That girl who's all bundled up is from Little Star Plans. I fixed my writing a few times because I didn't like how it looked, and then I first put down a full box at the bottom of Saturday, and moving to the top, I started with a today header with a quarter box, and then I used um, another Sick Girl sticker. That one is from Sun Fun Stickers because I was still feeling sick on Saturday. I was kind of hoping it was just going to be like a weird one-day situation, but it ended up being like the whole weekend. Then I put down a washi strip with this grocery icon from the kit to mark that we went and did some groceries in the morning, and then it was so beautiful that day so I sat outside and read some Harry Potter. Um, that reading Maru sticker is from Paper and Milk. 
I then decided to use this little dust bunny sticker from the deco sheet as a checklist, which I thought was so adorable. Um, I put that behind a full box, or I think I just cut down that full box so that it fit that space, and then put down some of the things that I did that afternoon. So the last thing on the list I put down is that I had some tea with honey because my throat was really hurting, so that helped a lot. That tea time sticker, I believe, is from MJ and Hope, and then I wrote down a couple other things I did. I then took a really long nap, which was really nice. I put that on a little things with a bundled up emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. We had hot pot for dinner that night, and so I used a hot pot sticker from Hazel Sticker. It was lovely, like I woke up from my nap and my boyfriend had prepared everything, it was all ready. It was really nice to have hot pot when I wasn't feeling well, um, because I think that hot soup just like, I don't know, it's just very healing. So anyways, then I moved to Sunday and I first put down some washi strips at the top and I used a sleep in sticker from Toffee Bananas, it's so cute. I pulled in a little things with a sad emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co to mark that again, I was still sick and then I put down a tea sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that I had some tea again in the morning. Then I put down a half box with a book flights sticker from Love Shira to mark that we booked our flights to Maui. Um, we're going in June or at the end of June, so that should be really fun. And then I just decided to change my writing for the tea. Um, I don't know why actually, but I just felt like doing that. Then I put down that pink full box, which I initially used on Friday, and I placed a quarter box underneath that to mark that I read more of Harry Potter that night. That book sticker is from Paper and Milk. And then at the end of the day, I just filmed a plan with me, so I pulled in the other cloud sticker from the deco sheet and I also paired it with this uh, film sticker from Sweet Ava's Paper to mark that and that's pretty much it for my spread so again this one's so simple I feel like it went by really really fast because I wasn't doing anything fancy but I really really love how it came out so I'm just filling out my sidebar right now and then um, because the bottom washi is a little more on the plain side and because I had so many deco pieces I decided to place down the deco at the bottom and I love how that turned out so I make some adjustments and then once I was satisfied with that, now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit. I do have quite a lot left over and I just decided that I would make this a leftovers um, giveaway video because I have quite a lot of leftover stickers stashed. Um, so if you would like to enter the giveaway, just simply leave a comment down below saying giveaway or giveaway entry so that I know that you are interested in entering and I'll leave it open for a week. So it'll close, I think next Sunday, April 7th, at 9 p.m. PST, so make sure you get your entry in by then. And yeah, I'll leave all this info in the description box below so you can always check there if you're not sure about anything. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I do. Honestly, this was so much fun to put together despite it not being like the best week, but you know, it just goes like that sometimes. But anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Uh, make sure to enter my giveaway if you're interested and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.